In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, but there's an ancient wisdom called Buddhism that can help us find peace. Welcome, friends, as we explore these timeless teachings together. Buddhism started a long time ago in India. It teaches us that true happiness doesn't come from having lots of stuff or always chasing after fun things. Instead, it comes from inside us. Life nowadays can feel really busy. Our minds never seem to quiet down and we're always rushing around. But don't worry. Buddhist teachings give us six simple ideas to help us feel calm and strong even when life gets crazy. We're going to dive into these six ideas one by one. They're like special tools that can help us handle tough times and find peace in our hearts. From understanding that everything changes to learning to be kind to ourselves and others, these teachings show us how to live better lives. So let's take a deep breath and start this journey together. We're going to explore how Buddhism can help us feel happier and more at ease no matter what life throws our way. Principle 1 Impermanence Anika Impermanence is like the one constant in life. Everything changes, seasons change, people change, even our thoughts and feelings change. Nothing stays the same forever. It's a big part of what makes life, well, life. When we really understand that everything is always changing, it helps us let go of trying to hold on to things too tightly. We start to see that the good times won't last forever, but neither will the tough times. We can learn to ride the waves of change instead of fighting against them. Understanding impermanence helps us not get too attached to things, which can bring us a sense of peace and freedom. Embracing impermanence in our daily lives can be as simple as appreciating the beauty of each moment without trying to hold on to it. We can practice letting go of our expectations and being open to whatever comes our way. When faced with change, instead of resisting it, we can try to flow with it, knowing that nothing lasts forever. By embracing impermanence, we can find joy in the present moment and let go of worries about the future. Life is a journey of constant change, from the moment we are born until the day we take our last breath. Everything around us is in a state of flux seasons transition, relationships evolve, and our own bodies and minds undergo countless transformations. Impermanence, or anika in Buddhism, is the recognition of this universal truth that nothing in life is permanent. At first glance, impermanence might seem like a daunting concept. After all, we often crave stability and certainty in our lives. We cling to familiar routines, relationships, and possessions, hoping they will provide us with a sense of security. However, clinging too tightly to the illusion of permanence can lead to suffering when the inevitable changes of life occur. Whether it's the loss of a loved one, the end of a relationship, or a sudden shift in circumstances, we may find ourselves feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or disappointed. But what if we could shift our perspective and learn to embrace impermanence as a natural and necessary aspect of life? Part of life is learning to flow with change, finding peace and freedom in its ebb and flow. Understanding impermanence begins with recognizing that change is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather something to be embraced and accepted, just as the seasons transition seamlessly from one to the next. So too do the moments of our lives unfold in an ever-changing dance. When we acknowledge this truth, we can begin to let go of our attachment to fixed outcomes and learn to appreciate the beauty of each moment as it arises. One of the most profound ways that understanding impermanence can benefit us is by helping us to detach from transient experiences. In a world where we are bombarded with messages of instant gratification and constant consumption, it's easy to become attached to the fleeting pleasures of life. Whether it's the excitement of a new relationship, the thrill of a shopping spree, or the temporary high of a social media like, these experiences are inherently impermanent, and clinging to them only leads to suffering when they inevitably come to an end. By cultivating an awareness of impermanence, we can learn to appreciate the transient nature of our experiences without becoming overly attached to them. We can savor the moments of joy and happiness as they arise, knowing that they are fleeting and gracefully let them go when they pass. Likewise, when we encounter moments of difficulty or pain, we can remind ourselves that they too are impermanent and that they will eventually give way to brighter days. Practical ways to embrace impermanence in our daily lives abound. One simple practice is mindfulness, the art of being fully present in each moment without judgment. 
By cultivating mindfulness, we can learn to observe the ever-changing nature of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without getting caught up in them. We can also practice letting go of our attachment to fixed outcomes and expectations, allowing life to unfold as it will without trying to control or manipulate it. Another powerful way to embrace impermanence is through the practice of gratitude. By acknowledging and appreciating the temporary nature of the people, experiences and possessions in our lives, we can cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude for the precious moments we have been given. When we approach life with an attitude of gratitude, we can find joy and fulfillment in even the simplest of pleasures, knowing that they are not guaranteed to last forever. Ultimately, embracing impermanence is about learning to live in harmony with the natural rhythms of life. It's about surrendering to the flow of existence, trusting that whatever comes our way is meant to teach us, challenge us, and ultimately help us grow. When we let go of our attachment to fixed outcomes and embrace the impermanent nature of reality, we can find peace, freedom, and a profound sense of joy in each moment. Principle 2. Non-Attachment Aparigraha Non-attachment, known as Aparigraha in Buddhist philosophy, refers to the practice of letting go of our attachment to things, people, and experiences. It involves releasing the grip of craving and desire, freeing ourselves from the need to possess or control external factors in order to find happiness. Non-attachment does not mean detachment or indifference, rather. It is a profound acceptance of the transient nature of life and a recognition that true fulfillment comes from within rather than from external sources. Attachment, on the other hand, is the root cause of much of our suffering. When we become attached to specific outcomes, possessions, or relationships, we set ourselves up for disappointment and frustration when things don't go according to plan. Attachment creates a sense of dependency as we come to rely on external factors for our sense of self-worth and happiness. This attachment can lead to a perpetual cycle of craving as we continually seek out new experiences or possessions in an attempt to fill a perceived void within ourselves. Cultivating non-attachment requires a shift in mindset and a willingness to let go of deeply ingrained patterns of thinking and behavior. One technique is mindfulness, which allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. Through mindfulness practice, we can develop greater awareness of our attachment patterns and learn to let go of them with compassion and understanding. Another technique is practicing gratitude and appreciation for what we already have. By focusing on the abundance in our lives rather than what is lacking, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and reduce the impulse to constantly seek out more. Additionally, practicing generosity and giving to others can help loosen the grip of attachment and foster a greater sense of interconnectedness and compassion. Ultimately, cultivating non-attachment is about finding a balance between holding on and letting go. It's about recognizing the impermanent nature of all things and finding a sense of inner peace and fulfillment that is not dependent on external circumstances. By cultivating non-attachment, we can find a deeper sense of freedom, joy, and meaning in life. Meditation can be a powerful tool for cultivating non-attachment. By sitting in stillness and observing the impermanent nature of our thoughts and emotions, we can develop a sense of detachment from the fluctuations of the mind. Over time, this practice can help us let go of our attachment to specific outcomes and find a deeper sense of peace and equanimity. Cultivating non-attachment is a lifelong journey that requires patience, self-awareness, and a willingness to embrace uncertainty. By letting go of our attachment to external sources of happiness and finding fulfillment from within, we can free ourselves from the cycle of craving and suffering and experience greater peace, joy, and freedom in our lives. Principle 3. The Middle Way Madama Pratipada The Middle Way, known as Madama Pratipada in Buddhist philosophy, advocates for a balanced approach to life. It encourages us to navigate the extremes of existence with wisdom and moderation avoiding the pitfalls of excessive indulgence or severe, severe asceticism. The middle way teaches us to find a harmonious balance between opposing forces, embracing neither excessive luxury nor extreme self-denial. Extremes, whether in the form of excess or deprivation, often lead to imbalance and suffering. When we indulge excessively in sensory pleasures or material possessions, we may experience temporary gratification, but ultimately find ourselves trapped in a cycle of craving and dissatisfaction. 
On the other hand, when we deny ourselves basic comforts or necessities in pursuit of spiritual purity or asceticism, we may find ourselves drained of vitality and unable to fully engage with life. The pursuit of extremes can lead to physical, emotional, and spiritual disharmony as we become disconnected from our true needs and desires. By veering too far from the middle way, we risk losing touch with the richness and complexity of human experience becoming prey to rigid dogma or rigid adherence to rules. Finding balance and moderation in daily living begins with self-awareness and mindfulness. We can start by examining our habits and behaviors, noticing where we may be leaning too heavily towards one extreme or another. By cultivating mindfulness, we can develop greater awareness of our thoughts, feelings, and actions and learn to respond to life's challenges with wisdom and equanimity. Another tip for finding balance is to practice moderation in all things. This doesn't mean depriving ourselves of pleasure or indulgence altogether, but rather enjoying life's pleasures in moderation and with mindfulness. By practicing moderation, we can avoid the pitfalls of excess and cultivate a greater sense of contentment and well-being. Cultivating gratitude can also help us find balance and perspective in our lives. By appreciating the abundance of blessings in our lives, both big and small, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and reduce the impulse to constantly strive for more. Finally, finding balance and moderation in daily living requires self-compassion and patience. We are all human, and we will inevitably stumble and fall along the path. By approaching ourselves with kindness and understanding, we can learn from our mistakes and continue on the path towards balance and harmony. In compassion, known as karuna in Buddhist philosophy, is the practice of cultivating empathy and kindness towards others. It involves recognizing the suffering of others and responding with a sincere desire to alleviate their pain. Compassion goes beyond mere sympathy or pity. It is a heartfelt connection that seeks to uplift and support those who are struggling. Practicing compassion not only benefits others, but also enhances our own well-being. When we extend kindness and understanding to others, we strengthen our sense of connection and belonging in the world. Compassion fosters a sense of openness and generosity, allowing us to break free from the narrow confines of self-centeredness and ego. By putting ourselves in the shoes of others and empathizing with their struggles, we cultivate a deeper sense of empathy and compassion for ourselves as well. Research has shown that practicing compassion can have a myriad of positive effects on our physical and mental health. It can reduce stress and anxiety, lower blood pressure, and boost immune function. Compassion also promotes feelings of happiness and fulfillment as we experience the profound joy that comes from making a positive difference in the lives of others. There are many ways to cultivate compassion in our daily lives, starting with mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being present and fully engaged with our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, we can become more attuned to the suffering of others and respond with kindness and compassion. Another way to cultivate compassion is through acts of altruism and service. By volunteering our time, energy, or resources to help others in need, we not only alleviate their suffering but also strengthen our own capacity for compassion. Whether it's volunteering at a local soup kitchen, donating to a charitable cause, or simply offering a kind word or gesture to someone in need, every act of kindness contributes to the greater good. Cultivating compassion through the practice of loving-kindness meditation is also beneficial. This meditation involves silently repeating phrases of goodwill and compassion towards ourselves and others, cultivating feelings of love, kindness, and compassion in our hearts. We create a ripple effect of positivity and healing that extends far beyond ourselves. Ultimately, cultivating compassion is a practice that requires intention, effort, and commitment. By making compassion a central focus of our lives, we can transform our relationships, communities, and the world around us, creating a more compassionate and caring society for all beings. Principle 5 Mindfulness Sati Mindfulness, known as Sati in Buddhist philosophy, is the practice of present moment awareness. It involves paying deliberate attention to our thoughts, feelings, sensations, and surroundings without judgment. Mindfulness invites us to fully engage with the present moment, allowing us to experience life more deeply and authentically. The practice of mindfulness has been scientifically proven to reduce stress and enhance clarity of mind. By bringing our attention to the present moment, 
we can break free from the grip of rumination and worry, allowing us to let go of regrets about the past and anxieties about the future. Mindfulness helps us to cultivate a sense of calm and inner peace, even in the midst of life's challenges. Research has shown that regular mindfulness practice can lead to a variety of physical and mental health benefits. It can lower levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. Mindfulness has also been shown to improve attention and focus, enhance emotional regulation, and increase feelings of overall well-being. There are many practical mindfulness exercises that we can incorporate into our everyday lives to cultivate present moment awareness. One simple exercise is mindful breathing, where we bring our attention to the sensations of the breath as it enters and leaves the body. By focusing on the rhythm of our breath, we can anchor ourselves in the present moment and calm the fluctuations of the mind. Another mindfulness exercise is the body scan, where we bring our attention to each part of the body, noticing any sensations or tension and releasing them with each exhale. This practice can help us to cultivate a greater awareness of our physical selves and promote relaxation and healing. Ultimately, the practice of mindfulness is about cultivating a deep sense of presence and awareness in our lives. By making mindfulness a regular practice, we can transform our relationship with ourselves and the world around us, experiencing life with greater clarity, joy, and gratitude. Scanning is a mindfulness practice where we systematically bring our attention to different parts of the body, noticing any sensations or tension that arise without judgment. This practice helps us develop greater body awareness, release physical tension, and promote relaxation and stress relief. Mindful eating is another powerful mindfulness exercise that involves paying close attention to the sensory experience of eating, such as the taste, texture, and smell of food. By savoring each bite and fully engaging with the act of eating, we can cultivate a greater appreciation for the nourishment that food provides and break free from mindless eating habits. Additionally, we can practice mindfulness in our daily activities, such as walking, washing dishes, or commuting to work. By bringing our full attention to the task at hand and engaging with it wholeheartedly, we can transform even the most mundane activities into opportunities for mindfulness and presence. Ultimately, the practice of mindfulness is about learning to fully inhabit our lives and embrace each moment with openness and curiosity. Self-compassion is another powerful tool for developing acceptance. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we can learn to embrace our imperfections and vulnerabilities with compassion and acceptance. When we stop judging ourselves harshly and instead offer ourselves love and acceptance, we create a foundation of inner strength and resilience. Developing acceptance is a lifelong practice that requires patience, commitment, and self-awareness. By cultivating acceptance in our lives, we can find peace and contentment amidst the ever-changing landscape of existence and open our hearts to the fullness of life's experience. Throughout our exploration, we've delved into the profound teachings of Buddhism, uncovering six foundational principles that offer timeless wisdom for navigating life's ups and downs. We've explored impermanence, reminding us of the ever-changing nature of existence non-attachment, teaching us to let go of cravings and desires the middle way, guiding us towards balance and moderation compassion, urging us to empathize with others' mindfulness, encouraging us to be present in each moment and acceptance, inviting us to embrace reality as it is. As we conclude our journey, I encourage you to embrace these principles and incorporate them into your daily life. Whether you're facing challenges or celebrating joys, these teachings offer invaluable guidance for finding greater peace, fulfillment, and resilience. By cultivating impermanence, non-attachment, the middle way, compassion, mindfulness, and acceptance, you can navigate life's complexities with grace and wisdom, fostering a deeper sense of well-being and harmony within yourself and with the world around you. In closing, let us remember the transformative power of Buddhist philosophy. These ancient teachings have the potential to illuminate our path, offering profound insights into the nature of existence and the human experience. As we continue our journey, may we carry the light of these principles with us, shining brightly in the darkness and guiding us towards a life of greater understanding, compassion, and joy. For more enlightening content on mindfulness, spirituality, and personal growth, subscribe to Story Path Channel and join us in exploring the depths of the soul together.